Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematically Inclined. One of the most burning topics these days is how do I prepare for my math exam in such a limited time? Now before I discuss the plan of action with you people, you just need to realize certain things. Of course, apart from eating right, sleeping right and taking regular breathers, it is extremely important to have that confidence within you that yes, I have been working on the subject since the beginning and these five days I just need to stay calm and work towards my goal. Now the work plan that I'm going to share has worked wonders for me. However, you are most welcome to modify it the way you like, whether it is in terms of timings that I'm going to share or the placement of the chapters. So are we excited? Let's get started. So first of all, what I have done is that I have divided this in a sort of a grid where I have day 1 to day 5 and here I am writing the timings that I will be following to prepare for my paper. For instance, if you are a morning, for instance, I have chosen 5 to 10 a.m. Likewise, 11 to 2, 4 to 7 p.m., 8 to 11 p.m. And, and after 11 p.m., nothing, just relax and sleep. So now, let me take you through this table day-wise. Now, whatever plan you are going to make, have faith that you are actually going to do it and make it as realistic as possible. Like day one, I have kept five hours for probability and linear programming. Of course, they are very high scoring points and at the same time, not very difficult to understand. Now, when it comes to the mid-morning, rather your afternoon, 11 to 2 p.m., I have kept something light, which is your matrices and determinants. Moving on, I have kept 3 hours here and then again 3 hours here. So that means a total of 6 hours to revise your vectors and 3D geometry. Let's see our day 2. So for the first 5 hours, I have kept derivatives or differentiation which you may call. Followed by a rate of change, tangents, normals and approximation. Within those 3 hours, we would cover increasing and decreasing functions and your maxima minima. And the remaining 6 hours I have kept for your basic integration, which you can then follow it up with application of integrals. For day 3, as you can see, the first 5 hours you have your differential equations, followed by inverse trigonometric functions. And then finally, we have a lot of time for relations and functions. Of course, here, if time permits and your energy permits, you can always do a bit of integration as well. Otherwise, you can always push this integration to day 4 and take a lot of time revising the same. Now, you must be wondering that I have actually covered the entire syllabus in almost 3 and a half days. So, what are we supposed to do in the remaining one and a half days? First of all, as I have mentioned earlier, you are most welcome to modify, push the chapters here or there as per your convenience. But if you plan to stick by this, once you are done with your integration, give yourself about two hours of quick revision of everything you have done so far. That would basically be flipping through the formulas and picking up some tricky questions. Once you are done with all that, now the real challenge begins. I would like you people to solve as many sample papers as possible. So for instance, after two hours of quick revision, sit down giving some papers. This could be your sample papers, your previous year papers. So 3 to 6 paper 1, write 7 to 10 paper 2 and then the next day, 6 to 9 paper 3, 11 to 2 paper 4, 4 to 7 paper 5. Make sure when you are giving the paper, you are actually trying to imitate the examination hall as much as possible. By this I mean request the most powerful person in the house to, to give you the paper exact on time and snatch it away from you once the time is over. No extra time, no sitting very comfortably, right on a table and chair, no books around. So, you get the logic. 8 to 10 is once again your quick revision and then what? Then is the most critical part of your exam. Yes. 
sleep well. This will decide how you write your paper the next day. And of course, the next day in the morning, you can again quickly take up some time for revision. Trust me, if you follow this work plan, it is actually going to give you maximum revision, maximum confidence because you will be facing a lot of papers before your grand finale and at the same time giving you ample time to relax, wake up fresh and give in your best shot. So if you found the video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with the people around you who might be really worried. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more math videos. I would see you with the next one real soon. Until then, bye-bye.